All right, everybody, welcome back to Cuisine Royale tips and tricks number two. Today, we're going to be going over armor, the different tiers of armor, the different damage reductions, and the different weights. So first off, let's let's get this myth out of the way. Armor weight is not existent, okay? When you're running, you may feel like you're heavier when you put on armor. It's not the case. It's the guns on your back and the weight inside of your bags, as you can see carrying capacity the higher the capacity the bigger the bag the fuller the bag the heavier you are the slower you run when you wear armor it does not affect your time we've tested this by running from one end of the zone to the other uh we've tested stamina depletion all of that it does not affect your speed trust me on that so here is different tiers of armor so let's open this up your helmet can go up to tier four I'll show you the different looks of all the different helmets and the same with the chest your chest piece can go up to tier four so you have tier one two three and four currently right now we have tier one and we mimic someone like this you can see there's a tier one chest it's just a pan like a, a frying wok and a, a pot on his head that's tier one shoulders legs they do not have tiers currently in the game you just have them or you don't as you can see, there's no bracket emphasis around at the end of the, the left shoulder armor saying if it has a tier or not, whereas the head says T1 tier 1. The butt armors can go up to tier 3. That's the max currently. You have tier 1, 2, and 3. So I'll show you what this looks like. This is a tier 1 butt armor. Okay, it looks like a plate, just like how he has it on the front of his legs, like hot griddle cakes or something. And then it's just kitchen armor, just bowls for shoulders, pots and pans. So... If we were to kill this player, we have everything he has currently on, and that's why you can see nothing is highlighted in purple, meaning that we need that to upgrade on your character. If it's all white, that means that you already have it. No worries. This is a tier two player right here. Okay, you can see that he's wearing a tier two helmet. It's kind of like a rusted kind of crappy looking helmet with a face shield or something. Uh, tier two chest just looks like like some, I don't know, gangsters, you know, uh, body armor that you'd find in the in the ghetto or something like that. And then you have a pot on your ass. That's tier two. So if we were to kill him, now you can see that it's highlighted purple. That means that if we were to click over it, we would instantly pick it up. If we try clicking this, it kind of says, wait a second, you already have that or, or something higher grade than that. So you don't need to worry about this. If you were to hold it, then you can pick it up but if you're just tapping your your square or your or your button to pick up whatever you use it will uh not allow you to pick up something lesser than your current grade here we go we got a tier three armor as you can see it's flashy it looks more like someone like like a cop would wear or something like that like a police outfit the same with the helmet looks more like kind of like a cop style helmet someone that is a little bit better than what we have a little rusted junk junky little helmet with a freaking little padded vest so this is tier three we're gonna pick that up and then lastly as you can see bam fucking military grade tier four covers the most area look at that it even covers his little wiener boom right up to the neck the head boom clean looking beautiful tier three butt armor and as you remember shoulders and legs don't currently have tiers Maybe in the future they will. Who knows? So let's pick all that up. This is what full decked out player looks like. Everything on our body. Tier 4, helmet, chest, shoulders, legs, and tier 3, butt. Now let's check out the different damage mitigations. Use my uh, little trusty dusty here. So we are going to see what the different areas of mitigation are. So for legs, the leg armor only covers your actual thigh, okay? From your knee up to your kind of pelvis, uh, your pelvis right here. It just covers this area. Now, if I were to put shots into this, it takes five shots to kill him in the leg. Let's look at the calf muscle. Five shots in the calf so it doesn't matter where in the leg leg is five shots but now let's go over to this guy we're gonna shoot him in the leg 
the upper leg, the thigh, right? But not at the armor itself. Listen to the sound. Eight shots, and you can hear it. It's kind of like a thud sound. But if we were to shoot him the same kind of armor right in the leg, but in the calf, it should only take five. And you can hear the difference. It sounds more um, fluid-like when you shoot him in the leg without the armor, whereas you hear a thud when you shoot him with the leg armor. That goes for everything. Um, shoulders, I can't really figure out what it shoulder blocks. It, it, I've tested it where it does not block your arm. I think it just blocks kind of like the side of your profile around your neck area. Um, like literally just the shoulder itself. Uh, but even then, when I was testing it out, uh, it, it seems to not really work properly. And let's, I'll, let's see if we can get this to work. So, so three in the shoulder. Now, it might just be the damage of the guns is just a little bit too high so that you don't notice the difference. But three in the shoulder. I don't know really what it, it protects, to be honest. So shoulder armor, it, it doesn't matter though. Pick up the shoulder armor. It, it doesn't weigh anything extra. So you might as well have it. It, it probably mitigates something, right? And if not, the developers are going to probably fix it. It depends if this gun might just have too strong of bullets. So it hits it, it in three shots with or without. Who knows? But um, yeah, I've tested it with a few other guns and I didn't notice a difference. Now, as for the butt armor, same thing with the butt armor. Let's find someone without a tier four chest because I want to test that out. So the butt armor, this is a tier three butt armor and you can hear in the thud. It sounds like you're hitting something, right? Not just the player. Whereas if you were to shoot someone without the armor, it sounds a little bit more wet. Let's look at the differences in uh, armor in the chest region. Uh, without the armor, you should about two shots, two, three shots. Let's look at somebody. What does he have? He has a tier one chest, so let's shoot him. Three shots as well with tier one. This guy is tier two. Four shots. Tier three should be about five shots or four shots. And tier four should be about five or six shots. Five shots. So without the chest armor, it, it, you're looking at about two times the damage reduction when you have fully decked out gear. The same thing for ha uh, helmets. We're going to shoot them in the head. Two shots in the head. Whereas this guy, three shots in the head. And let's see if there's is there another guy with a tier four helmet. This is technically a tier four helmet, even though it's a Viking helmet. We're going to shoot instead of the face, we're going to shoot the actual helmet part. So three. So you do get an extra bullet with a tier four helmet as opposed to not having a helmet at all. Tier three helmets, let's see. Literally nothing. So headshots, there's just depends, I guess, if maybe if you're further back away from the player, uh, damage range does play a part. Um, so remember, it, the, the closer you are, the more effective your, your bullets are going to be, obviously. So that's kind of the gist of armor, the different tiers of armor the 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 myth of weight it does not affect your weight and kind of the damage uh reduction that your character can see while wearing armor hopefully everyone enjoyed that the little in-depth if i missed anything please post in the comments below where we can do a follow-up video or a little re-edition um so yeah stay tuned for more content on cuisine royale peace out everybody have a great day and i'll see you in the next one